Good morning, Cornerstone, for today's inspirational vitamin. We're going to be coming out of Luke chapter 22, a um, very familiar passage, although um, I think a lot of us are maybe more familiar with the versions in uh, Matthew 26. But this is Jesus' prayer in the garden. It says in verse uh, 39, he went out and made his way as usual to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he told them, pray that you may not fall into temptation. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down and began to pray. Father, if you are willing, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, yours, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him, strengthening him. Being in anguish, he prayed more fervently and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. You know, um, think about Jesus and uh, him going, you know, on this night before he was going to be arrested and crucified and him going uh, to spend some time in prayer. And he goes out to his usual spot. You know, he says he would go there after teaching in the temple all day. He would spend the night on the Mount of Olives with his disciples and teach them. But he goes out to his usual spot and says when he reached the place, he told them, pray that you won't fall into temptation. And we know from Matthew's account, he, he tells his sort of three closest disciples, James, Peter and John, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow. Stay here and keep watch with me. And I was just thinking about how um, amazing and rewarding it is to be open, to have people that we can be open with, with the things we're struggling with, with our fears, with our concerns, with our worries, and, um, and just asking them to sit with us. Sometimes he asks them to pray, but also sometimes you just need somebody that's going to sit with you, um, hold your hand, be with you. And um, so, you know, this really encourages me that even Jesus needed this. And so I know that it is also going to be true in my life then. So that's really just my thought for you today um, is, you know, who are the folks that you can grab and ask to just sit with you or ask to pray with you when you're going through something? Who are the folks that you can be open uh, with your temptations, with your challenges and uh, reach out to them today or sometime this week when you go through those things? You know, God doesn't want us to um, to suffer in silence. He wants us to reach out to him, but he's also given us one another so that we can have brothers and sisters to really connect with when we're going through things. So that's the inspirational vitamin for the day. Hope you're encouraged by the example of Jesus and I love you. Let's have a great week.